Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisse and today we're gonna look at yet another mod. I will add though, uh, Frontier doesn't really approve of mods, so therefore if you get mods that ruin your game or anything like that, it is your own fault and they have no responsibility to fix it. Uh, I will say I have had mods that gave me a few issues but then by removing the mod i actually fixed the issue so i have haven't had any permanent damage to my game in that way there are a lot of different videos on youtube that shows you how to download and into the mod into your game i just uh link below a video from leap production because that's to be honest, the best one I found, uh, you will see a lot of them out there, um, but I can recommend this specific video, but if you want another, you can find another. Uh, today's video is about the Golden Retriever, and I'm gonna start with a complaint. This is a beautiful mod made by Leaf Production. Leaf has his own YouTube channel where he recommend uh, and showcase mods. So he has seen a lot of mods and he has showcased a lot of mods. Then why do he call them one thing on Nexus where you download them and another thing inside the game? That doesn't make sense to me because when I click of it, uh, I'm just gonna end up superior here because we're gonna go in here a double way. Um, here, domesticated dog, golden retriever. On Nexus, it called golden retriever, domesticated dog. I know it's just a little thing, but in my head, I just oh, it frustrates me a lot. I know it's a me problem, not a you problem, but I know I'm not the only person out there that really have issue with things that doesn't make sense. And it just doesn't make sense that you call it one thing on Nexus and another thing inside the game. I know the folder that carries the mod need to have another name that I understand. But in here, please just call it the Golden Retriever Domesticated Dog. That would make so much more since um here we uh, we enter a l bit of different i i wouldn't call it issues but uh here it's just called the canines family that isn't the latin name <laughs> um but it is true it is in the canine family but it yeah maybe it's because he couldn't find the exact Latin name for, for this golden retriever. The population in the wild is un unknown. So unless a lot of golden retrievers actually got loose in that area, I don't think there are any. And here he called it a British breed of retriever. That doesn't mean that it only belong in Britain. It means that it's come from breeding new species in breeding. And here, down here it says the breed was recognized by the Kennel Club in 1913. Um, that doesn't mean that it wasn't invented or breeded before that. It's just when the Kennel Club recognized it as a species on its own. I'm pretty sure that you have Labradors looking like this before that. The map, again, it doesn't make sense, Leaf. You usually are really good at this. <laughs> Over here you can see they are found worldwide, but here you show a small part of Northern <laughs> Central America. They don't need too much space, they don't need water, they don't need climbing. When that's set, they do swim. Uh, and they are extremely cute when they swim. They like the desert, the grassland, the temperate and the tiger biome um, here again a few things that don't make sense you could have group size it, again it's without the juveniles here between 2 and 12 i'm pretty sure a lot of people have one <laughs> uh, and i don't know where 12 comes from uh, if it's 
maybe I'm sure Leaf had done a lot more research than I have, so maybe it's the group size that Wolves had. Yeah, it is the Wolf group size in the game, so maybe that's why he what he based it on. Then males are territorial and they're promiscuous, they're confident about around humans, and guests can enter the habitat. That being said, when you go to interspecies enrichment, they have interspecies enrichment with the cheetah. Uh, and that's actually because a lot of cheetahs in zoos live with golden retrievers or other dogs. And actually also if they get a cup or does cheetah babies call cups? I don't remember, <laughs> um, but the baby cheetah, if their mother died or anything like that, then you can actually get a female a dog to nurse the, the kittens and they can grow up on the dog's milk. But if you have the dogs with the cheetahs, then you wouldn't be able to enter the habitat as a guest, of course. Then the size, I'm not gonna go into that because we know. Age of sexual maturity, 11 years? Leave. <laughs> Please explain this to me. Um, I'm pretty sure that many, many golden retrievers are able to get puppies before that. <laughs> um, please leave. If, if you see this, you probably don't because you're a big YouTuber and I'm just little of me. Um, but please explain to me why you put 11 years there. And they get between 1 and 5 pups. A lot of dogs get more, but I'm not that familiar with the retriever. So that might be right. And they're pretty easy to breed. Uh, if you have a dog, sometimes it can be really hard not to get them to breed. Here yeah, I actually like, he have really went in there and thought about what could be fun for the dogs. Uh, I will say though, the food. Uh, they are carnivores, so if you don't like to see them eat meat, which they do and actually can be a really healthy diet for dogs also and uh, also domesticated dogs so if you don't want to see that then you could just stay with the processed meat here but they would like the uh, car carcass um, to eat m real meat uh, they can play with the ice block blood scent marker chiotoy of course Prey scented sack and the balls, sprinkler, tug rope, bubble machine, water pool, rubber duck, beaver pool, and then here down with the food enrichment, we have the rotation line feeder, ba bamboo feeder, uh, the zebra and the pronghorn meat thingies, uh, and then the dog ball, of course. Um, but that's pretty much all we have in here, but now I'm pretty sure you want to see the beautiful creature and Here they are. I have quite a few in here uh, I added a lot because I wanted pups, but I didn't get any that might be because of the 11 year The game think they should be before they grow up uh, But we have quite a few sizes of them here. You can see the yellow yellow one then we have, is this, yeah, this is a tiny bit paler yellow, and then a very pale yellow, and then the white over here, um, we also have, so I think we have four different colors, and is that a pup? Yeah, we got a puppy. Yeah, I don't have enough of feeders in here. Um, do we have others? Yeah, we got one here. Can I move you over here, please? And the puppies can also swim. Like that. A little ball of fur. Um, and the puppies are extremely fluffy, it seems like. Um, it, it does seem like they are extremely fluffy. He said in his video, his showcase, that he uh, added gradual uh, growing 
uh, what it's called, uh, so they will grow uh, by age. So if you got puppies now and puppies in, in two months time, then you will see the size difference and they will become less fluffy over time. But uh, let's see, we have a swimmer. Yay. Hey, swimmer. And this really reminds me of just doggy swimming. They do dog paddle, which uh, they should do uh, <laughs> as doggy swimmers. Um, the only thing I have with the uh, fur is that I thought that old golden retriever had long fur. Um, and these don't, they have longer fur here on the neck. But not on the rest of the body. Uh, maybe that's a variation. But all the golden retrievers I got um, had this fur uh, length. They have different colors, but the same length. Uh, where I would like to have just a few, maybe, of that really long fur that nearly reach their ankles. But overall, I think it's a beautiful creature he created. Um, shouldn't we just go and watch a little bit of the white one? Uh, the white one is for me um, a little dirty to look at. Um, now you lay down in the grass, of course. But for me, it looks like it has a bit of dirt here, a little bit of dirt there. And I think it's just because it's a white animal uh, and it doesn't have on the yellow ones the fur uh, structure, if we can call it that, is different colors of yellow and brown uh, strands. But when you get a white one, then you only have the white and the gray to work with. And I think that's why. Um, but I will say it's is a beautiful mud overall and uh, i'm gonna play with it uh, i already told you a bit of pointers i have about this animal but overall i think it's a really good mud i think it's amazing and to have some more domesticated animals in zoos i i would really like i actually also sometimes make other make my entrance inside of a habitat. Yes, you can actually do that. Uh, I done that a few times. So I have pea fowls or iguanas running around in at the entrance area. I could do the same with the dog. I could also make a children f petting farm and area where I could make the entire habitat. Uh, or the entire farm at a habitat where I could let the dog just run around. That would be so cute. Uh, but if you do that, you have to remember that the entrance to the other habitats can't be inside of that habitat. So you would need to work around that. But um, besides that, it is... Uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to using it. I think we're gonna add it in the uh, Luca family zoo. But I'm also looking to start another zoo that I'm not sure if we're gonna use this one yet. But um, yeah. Where are my pups? I just want you to show me the pups a la the last time here. Oh, they're running. I haven't seen them touch the cheetahs like having a interaction together. I haven't seen that at all. Um, but besides that, they are just so cute. Uh, they are too small for the grass here. But when they come out in the short grass area, they are so cute. Um, so either way, guys, that's all I have for you today. You know the drill. Like, subscribe and turn on the bell of notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. I'd land the comments below or in the next video. Bye!